And live here in Oxford, Mississippi, I'm Diva Mixon here with your instant reactions here at uh, Swayze Field here at uh, in Oxford, Mississippi. Uh, Southern Miss, number 22 in the country, loses to Ole Miss 11-5 to here on this field right behind me. Just watched the game up uh, downstairs here doing photos and at the press box. And uh, tonight you just got to give Ole Miss a lot of credit, obviously, tonight. Um, a lot of uh, just an insane lineup that Ole Miss has. Um, that when you have a bullpen this young that Southern Miss has, it's just really hard to, for them to, you know, it, it's good for their experience, but you you can't expect them to hold Ole Miss down. This lineup is just too good for that, and we saw that. Uh, only two scoreless innings for Ole Miss tonight. Uh, the other innings all went for all went for runs, uh, with uh, three of those innings being multiple runs. Um, you know, I think you gave Southern Miss a lot of credit tonight. They fell down eight to one going into the sixth inning, and they were able to get a lot of uh, a lot of momentum back. Uh, put up a four-run spot right there. Had the bases actually loaded with uh, Slade Wilkes up to bat, who's been batting the ball really well for Southern Miss. So the bases were loaded down three, eight to five. And uh, you with one out, and you really felt like if if Slade could just put something in the gap or maybe even hit it out, um, you know, then it would really. <laughs> it would really make the game interesting. Uh, Slade unfortunately hits into like a little blooper double play, so it was really weird and odd play that happened right there at the end, uh, and that really was a huge momentum swing. Anything after that was all Ole Miss. Uh, Ole Miss came back and put up uh, put up a, a run in the sixth and two runs in the seventh, and that was pretty much it. Um, I think all in all tonight, you know, I don't really think you look at this game as anything uh, bad necessarily. I mean, Southern Miss definitely missed on some opportunities. But, I mean, this is the number four team in the country that you're coming on the road playing uh, here on a midweek game where you're not playing with your best pitchers, pitching staff right now. You don't have Billy Oldham who's hurt with an injury. You don't have that. And uh, they came here and competed, and you have to give them credit. Um, I don't really think really and a lot of people expect Southern Miss to win this game tonight. Definitely could have. They definitely had the opportunity to win the game. But I don't think that necessarily anybody expected them to win tonight. But, it, but they did compete. It really felt like Ole Miss was fixing to just take control of this game um, and really, 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 um, you know, put a lot on Southern Miss. It was 8-1 in the top of the, top of the bottom of the fifth. Top of the sixth, Southern Miss got that fourth spot, and they got it back. Southern Miss pitched a lot of pitchers tonight, though. Um, really, uh, Colby Allen got the loss tonight for, for Southern Miss. Um, Excuse me. Southern Miss pitched uh, seven pitchers tonight, all going uh, a few going for two innings. Uh, Cross Sibley was the only pitcher tonight who was not or, uh, not charged with a run. He did not allow a run in his outing in his two in his two at bats. So, man, it's tough right now for this bullpen, and that's kind of what Scott Barry just said in the post game that you can go watch um, uh, on our YouTube channel, right where you found this video. I think that right now, I just don't know if. Southern Miss fans just have to understand that, like, like we've been saying all season, this team is young, right? This bullpen is young. And you cannot expect them to come here to Swayze Field and Ole Miss and Oxford and shut down an Ole Miss lineup who's, who's destined to get probably back to Omaha. This, this lineup could literally get Ole Miss back to Omaha. And it's just really tough when you, when you try to get, you know, when you when you when you come here and you're 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 obviously wanting to win the win this baseball game, but when you're allowing hit, you're hitting pat, batters, you're you're batting, and you're allowing these uh, this lineup to have chance to to scratch off a few runs, they're going to be able to do it because they're just that talented. So it misses no problem getting base runners on. They just can't get them home, and that's been their problem all season. And that's not Ole Miss's problem tonight. That's the Ole Miss was able to get those runs. If they had a guy on third, they got him home. Very rare did they leave runners on base tonight. And that's just uh, what a good hitting team does. And Southern Miss hasn't been a good hitting team this season so far. And that's kind of what Scott Berry alluded to. That, um, But at the end of the day, Scott Berry also said that, man, this is the number four team in the country, and it's hard to come on the road and beat them. And I don't think you really disappointed with the effort tonight by Southern Miss. Definitely could have rallied back and made this game interesting, which they did, of course. Um, but if Slade would have done something there in that in that uh, jam with the, the bases loaded and one out, this game could have gone completely differently. So I think Ole Miss is obviously a way better team than Mississippi State that Southern Miss saw up last week. Um, I would argue that Southern Miss could have, definitely should have won that game up 9-6 to six in the bottom of the eighth. And uh, but at the end of the day, um, you know, this is just a really good baseball team and uh, it's just going to be hard to to beat them, especially on their home field and um, here on the road with midweek pitching that you're not really that confident in at the moment. So um, 
you know, you head into this weekend and you, you, you get a Valparaiso team who, who just lost to Ole Miss 12 to 2. I think that, um, I think that you, you, you're pretty confident that you can do something with them, uh, maybe get a sweep. And uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but that's it for me. That's it for me and Oxford tonight. Uh, Southern Miss 11 to 5 loss against the Ole Miss Rebels again. Uh, so four. Four losses in a row now for Southern Miss. The one in Hattiesburg in the midweek last year. That was Southern Miss's only midweek loss last season. Um, and then they lost, obviously, two in the Super Regional to sweep them and uh, to for so Ole Miss to pave their way to the national title. And then, obviously, tonight where Ole Miss was just better on offense tonight. I don't necessarily think that Ole Miss was even better in pitching. They were just better on offense tonight. Um, so, at the end of the day, I don't – I mean, I, the one thing I would take away – the three things I would take away from this game is – the bullpen obviously has a lot of questions, but this is going up against a really good lineup in the SEC and one that's probably competing for national title again. So that would be my first takeaway. My second would be, you know, the, the offense has no trouble getting the runners on base. They just can't get them in, and that's something that they're definitely going to have to figure out in the coming weeks, and they have a long season to figure that out. So nothing to worry about there. And third, maybe just Ole Miss just has to miss number, honestly. Like, this is just, uh, I mean, it's just hard to come in to Swayze Field and knock off the number four team in the country. You know? So the Miss couldn't do that tonight. Um, you know, you could argue they may could have done it last year um, and all that, but they didn't do it tonight, and uh, Ole Miss wins 11-5. So stay tuned, uh, sm2.com uh, slash sports. That's where you'll find the recap story uh, for me down there. You can look that up, uh, find that uh, on sm2 slash sports. You can also watch Scott Berry's post-game interview that we had on the field here. Uh, you can find that on our YouTube channel. Be looking on 4th Street Sports Show for our weekly podcast that comes out every Monday and then every Friday uh, every Friday morning right before the Valparaiso Series, so you can look for that. Uh, but that's it for me. That's it for uh, here in Oxford. Um, that has been your instant reactions. Uh, I am Dima Mixon, and I'm going to now make my journey back to Hattiesburg here in this beautiful evening here in Oxford. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you this weekend at the Pete.